Hey friends, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. It has been some time since I've sat down and talked about cooking gear for backpacking. And primarily that's because there's just really not been anything new on the market that has really piqued my interest and made me want to switch from using my go-to Tokes Titanium 550 milliliter pot paired with my Soto Amicus canister stove. Until recently, over the past few months, this pot was released from Fire Maple. This is the Fire Maple G3 Petrol Heat Exchanger Aluminum Pot. This is a pot that checks a lot of boxes of what I've been trying to accomplish with upgrading my cooking system for backpacking. So what am I trying to accomplish? Because when you look at these two items together, is there really anything wrong with this? No, there's not. But what it doesn't provide is for the amicus and the canister to fit inside of the pot for you to have an all-in-one contained system. So what I started looking at is, well, I'll just get the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter, which absolutely accomplishes that goal, but there's still a couple things that I wanted out of a new pot for it to be something that would be like a true upgrade. So we'll talk about the 750 a bit more here in a minute, but what is the Petrol G3 heat exchanger pot? This is a pot that comes in at a price point of $24, so it's a very reasonable cost for everything that you get out of this feature-wise. Now I did purchase this with my own money and Fire Maple has no connection with this video whatsoever. I'm just genuinely excited about this pot. This is a total capacity pot of 650 milliliters. They will say that the capacity is 600, but you can bring it up to 650 and boil that much water, which is really nice. So it's a small pot, but it's a fairly large capacity when you're thinking as a solo cook system, the most water that I'm probably going to be boiling at a time is just at about two to two and a quarter cups of water for me to put into a freeze dried meal and then maybe have a hot drink at the same time. This also has a folding handle that makes it possible for everything to stay contained on the inside of the pot. You've got a plastic lid here with a little rubber handle that has some cutouts on it for you to strain if you're doing like pasta and such, which is different from the Toke 750 because this is just loose. You do have your handles, but I don't have the ability for me to put a handle on top of this to contain everything inside unless I put a rubber band or put it in the orange stuff sack. This is all contained. I fold that over. Now everything inside stays in place and I don't have to have a rubber band or something to go around it. What's unique about this is the heat exchanger on the bottom. So it's aluminum, so it is a better conductor of heat than titanium is going to be. With that heat exchanger on the bottom, it's what you would expect to see from Jetboil, from any other type of heat exchanger pot where you've got that corrugated folded metal that goes around as your stove is burning, it heats that up and it makes it uh, just get a more efficient and faster boil time. But what's really different about this is you have three cutouts on the bottom that allow for you to set this down on top of a stove that has a spread of 120 degrees over three pot stands. So I set this down on top of a pot that accomplishes that. And now my pot is sitting much closer to the head of the burner and it is going to be way more efficient in its boil time because of that, because I'm getting better wind resistance from that as well. So we'll talk about boil times here in a second, but let's talk about some of the specs and weight of this as well. This comes in at a weight of 5.8 ounces for the lid and the pot without the storage bag that comes with it. When you compare that to the Toke 750, this is 3.5 ounces. So you've got two ounces more of weight, which makes sense because you've got a larger handle, this is aluminum, this is all titanium. But two ounces is really not that big of a difference. And 
when you look at what this provides for a cook system to be all in one contained everything inside, there's some benefits because this is a slightly larger diameter on the inside than the Tox 750. So what this allows is for you to truly put pretty much any size stove down on the inside of the pot. So the stove that I am pairing this with is the Soto Windmaster with the three flex attachment. So I've got my 100 gram canister. That I drop down into the bottom, take my three flex off, collapse that up, and then this will sit down right inside and be the perfect size, my three flex. And then I can also take my lighter, close that up, boom. All contained inside of the pot. With the Windmaster, I don't have the option of putting that inside of the 750 from Tokes. It's just a little too tall for that. So yeah, I could use pretty much any other stove that is shorter in its length, but I love this Windmaster because it's super efficient. It's a very reliable stove that is just proven to last for a very, very long time. And it fits inside of that pot because it has a little bit bigger diameter in size. Then let's talk about boil times with this compared to the Tox 750. What I have done is I've taken the stoves that I have that are a three prong pot stand and I've done testing to see how they do in comparison to the Tox 750. So the stoves that I have got here all have a opening of 120 degrees between each of the uh, stands here for the pot stand. That's critical because that is the opening that you have for each of the slots. So any stove that has that opening should work with this. Now, this is the Soto Windmaster with the three flex. And then I've got several other fire maple stoves here, which just happen to be the stoves that I have that are three, three prong pot stands. And there are other options out there like the MSR Pocket Rocket and the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Um, I don't have those stoves with me, so I can't tell you whether or not they're gonna work with this. But I've got the FM116T uh, from Fire Maple, the Fire Maple Polaris, the Hornet, and the Buzz. So these are the stoves that I tested to see how they do in comparison for boil times to the Tox 750. I used cold tap water from my sink, two cups of water in the testing, and then I used a fresh canister each time I did the test. So on average, between all of the five tests that I did, I'll put the information of what the individual tests look like, the Fire Maple G3 Petrol was always significantly faster compared to the Tox 750. So the average boil time for the Petrol heat exchanger pot was one minute 55 seconds to boil two cups of cold tap water. The average boil time for the Tox 750 milliliter was two minutes and 59 seconds. So a full minute longer of time for the stove to run at full blast to get a rolling boil in the Tox 750. So how does that translate to like fuel efficiency and how much fuel you're actually using? I didn't weigh all of that to be super nerdy with the science behind that. But when you think about it, a full minute of time less for your stove to run does make a difference in how efficient and long that canister is going to go. I mean, th think about it though, like how critical is one minute difference in your time out in the backcountry? This isn't a Formula One race. We're not trying to be as quick as we possibly can, but fuel efficiency does play a factor because 
If I'm using less fuel, that means I can use it for more trips and I'm not spending as much money. So that's something that's important to consider. So then what I also did is a comparison against a couple other heat exchanger type of cook systems that I've got, the Primus Light and the MSR Wind Burner. These have been great options. And in fact, when I was trying to get into that like upgrade type of experience with a new stove, I saw the Primus Light and was like, okay, that's less than all of the smallest options you can get from Jetboil at half a liter. And it's gonna be fairly lightweight and compact, but this has been not honestly an awesome experience. The boil time for this came in at over three minutes. It's just not as efficient and quick as I would want it to be. And it's a bit heavier than this as well because the actual stove has a lot of metal to it. But then the wind burner here, which is honestly one of my favorite stoves ever. It's a one liter capacity, but it's over a pound in weight for the full setup of what you have here. But this had a respectable boil time of two minutes and 15 seconds. So quick boil time, very comparative to the fire maple here, but this is bulky and heavier than all of the options that I've been using in the past. This I'm just really, really enjoying. It's high quality, it's lightweight, and I think that having a heat exchanger pot at this size really does make sense when you compare it to some of the other stuff that I've been using. My experience is very positive. I don't have anything really negative uh, to say about this. It's just been a great, great pot so far. And I think it's worth checking out, especially at the price point of $24, which is less than what you pay for the Tokes products. Let me know what you think down in the comments and whether or not you would get this for yourself. But thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you in the next one. See you later.